Hi there, it's Dr. Rob. If you're viewing this video right now, it's most likely because you've been prescribed exercise by me. I'm going to recommend that you refer to your report of findings package, because in that package is a sheet that lists your exercises, but also there's a useful chart there that you'll be able to use to track your progress. And it'll be important to use that chart because I'm going to request that you bring it to your progress exam, and so I can see how you've been doing with your exercises and how you've been progressing. The following video is going to outline not only how to do your exercises, but also give you some tips on how to do them properly and how often to do them. At any time, if you experience any unusual pain or discomfort during the exercises, go ahead and discontinue immediately and you can let me know at your next appointment. You've been prescribed left neck shifts because your natural posture is that your head favors to the right side. This places extra stress on your muscles, nerves, and joints. When doing a shift, try not to tilt your shoulders, but just shift your head towards the left. You may not be able to move very far, but that's okay. Again, do not tilt. This is a glide of your head to the left. I'll turn around so you can see what it looks like from behind. You'll notice that there is minor movement of my upper body, but we try to limit that as much as possible. Hold the shift as far as you can to the left for a few seconds. Performing neck shifts are like abdominal crunches. The more you can do, the more benefit you will get. When your neck is shifted to the right, the general tendency is that the muscles on the right side of your neck are very tight. So to stretch the right side of your neck, you will pull your head over towards the left. Hold the stretch for 30 to 60 seconds.